update of um, the vertical towers or so, um, growing towers what I did is that I actually put five of them together if you notice I have a lot of uh, salvage or reclaim material I'm using um, a lot of window panels from houses that were renovated uh, but they are actually double panels so so they are good for this greenhouse that I'm building but I wanna that's not a video about I want to show you how this system is actually working as you can see I have some some horizontal uh, uh, net caps uh, with some little plants that I just transplanted but the system itself consists in five towers that are interconnected um, I have a pump that is actually pumping water all the way over there I have valves for individual um, supplies for each tower uh, they're actually uh, being controlled right now by you know regulated with the full valve actually and let's see if I can show you one but they actually, um, that's it. Um, okay, they are providing water to each of the towers and it's trickling down all the way over there to the bottom. And that's the, the idea with all of them. They're actually dripping. They don't need to be, you know, just gushing water away from, from the stuff. And, you know, after that, my system recycles the water, goes all the way to those pipes over there goes to floating rafts that I'm building and it comes back again and supplies the, the fish tank with um, new and rich oxygen oxygen and rich water actually um, so I hope um, this idea gives you some sort of imagination with your systems as you can tell I mean you're not using a lot of space you can use a wall in a house or something you just need pretty much that area and the loop that we're doing right now for the system to to produce um, in this case about 80 plants so you're really well utilizing the space well I hope the, the video gives you again some sort of ideas you can tell this kind of siphoning right now uh, the pumps are just or well, the pump is actually supplying and going back and forth with the water but it's a really great cycle